Hello, this is Miss Melton, and today we are going to talk about ordering decimals. So Jen wrote a decimal number on the board that was between 3 and 5 and had 3 digits. So think about what number that might be. So it has 3 digits, 1, 2, 3, but it has to be bigger than 3 and smaller than 5. Hmm. What number could it be? Do you have a number written down? If you're not sure, could it be a dollar amount? Hmm. Think of a dollar amount between $3 and $5. Could it be dollars and change? It has to have um, three parts. So once you get one number, let's see, bigger than three. So I'm going to say $3. I'm going to use my dollars. $3 and 52 cents. Now, can you come up with more numbers that are between three and five that have three digits? See if you can come up with five different numbers. Now, once you have your numbers, if you don't have them yet, you can pause the video. Once you have your numbers, which decimal is the least? I chose these four numbers. So which number is the least? Well, I know if I look at my dollars or my holes, I have three and four. Four is bigger than three, so it's got to be three and 86 hundredths or three and 52 hundredths. Practice saying your numbers and making sure when you see the decimal, you say the word and. 52 cents or 52 hundredths is less than 86 cents or 86 hundredths. So my least would be three and 52 hundredths. Which decimal is the greatest? Well, I know four is bigger than three, so it has to be four and 88 hundredths or four and 20 hundredths. 88 is bigger than 20. If I were to draw out as a model, I would have eight rods and eight units. And for 20, I would have two rods and no units. So four and 88 hundredths or $4.88 is the biggest. Now I can kind of tell what goes second and third. See if you can order your decimals. Make sure you know how you ordered them and why it works. Now, look at one number you made. Which digit is in the hundredths place? Circle the hundredths place. I'm going to use three and 52 hundredths. My hundredths place, I have a two in the hundredths place. What do you have? Which digit is in the tenths place? I have a five in the tenths place. What digit do you have in the tenths place? If you're having trouble remembering which one is the tenths and the hundredths, this is a great tool. Tenths place is equivalent to dimes. Hundredths place is equivalent to pennies. Ones place is equivalent to whole dollars. So if I have three dollars and 52 cents, this is my dollars, dimes, and pennies. It takes a hundred pennies to equal a dollar, so this is hundredths. It takes 10 dimes to equal a dollar, so this is tenths. And then my whole dollar amount. Or ones, this is the ones place, one whole. See if you can come up with more numbers and order them from greatest to least or least to greatest.